Hi everyone, it's Darlene. I'm here today with a pastel card for the March challenge. I'm using this Hoppiness set by Gerda Steiner Designs. It's so incredibly adorable. I have this die set by Lawn Fawn called Spring Showers and then finally this Stitched Basic Edges by My Favorite Things. There are two curves in the set. I'm using the one that's less curved. You can see there's stitching on both sides. I actually don't have very much pastel paper, so I had to pull two retired colors from Stampin' Up! So I have Soft Sky, Barely Banana, Pink Pirouette, which is the current one, and then this Certainly Celery, which is an old one. Now my Soft Sky here is gonna be my card base, so I have that cut to an A2 folded size. I'm gonna start with an A2 size on all of these colors. And uh, I'm gonna show you the measurements that I found to work on each one of these colors. So for the green one, I'm cutting this at one inch on the left, two inches on the right. So I'm just making sure that those two pencil marks meet on my die. And then for my pink pirouette, I'm gonna measure this at two and seven eighths. And then at the top here, I'm gonna measure it at two and a quarter. So that one's gonna be less because it's gonna go downhill. So I'm gonna set that up for my big shot. And uh, you could change the measurements if you want to, but these are the ones that worked for me. So you could see how they layer up. Um, and then for my Barely Banana, I'm gonna measure one side to be three and a half, and this is a hill that's going to go up. So this one's gonna be higher, it's gonna be four and a quarter. And I'll have all of these numbers on the blog post. So I'll just run that through my Big Shot. So now I have my three layers here. And I thought it'd be easy to just layer them on top of one another rather than trying to kind of fit them together like a puzzle. So I'm gonna put ATG on the yellow and put that on my card base. Then I'll put the pink on and then I'll put the green on. So my bunnies are gonna be peeking over each one of these hills. Okay, now I'm gonna do my stamping. I'm gonna stamp them all at the same time in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Uh, I'm gonna be using Copic markers and I'm gonna do some really quick coloring. I like when I have white animals because they're so easy to color. So I have W1 and I'm gonna go all the way around the edges of this bunny. This is real time, so it's really super fast. For his little paws, I just colored a little bit on the left side of each paw, so I didn't go all the way around it. So my reflection is always coming from behind me on the right and that's sort of how I try to visualize it. And then I'm gonna take my zero colorless blender and I'm gonna quickly just go over the whole thing. And this will eliminate any lines from the W1 marker. And then I realized I probably should have put some shadow inside his ears where you could tell it's kind of the inside. And then I just uh, took a zero blender on that. I'm gonna move on and do this a little faster with these other two bunnies. I'm just doing the same exact thing I just did on the first one. Um, I thought about making these bunnies different colors. I thought about making them brown, kind of some warm colors, but I thought that the white would pop really on the pastel colors. It would really make it look cheerful. So I decided to just go with white bunnies. My birdie is pretty small, so I'm just gonna use two colors on this. My two favorite yellows, Y15, just kind of around the edge, just like I did with the bunnies. And then I'm gonna take my Y11 and I'm gonna color over the whole thing. And the first time I did this, I left the glasses white, and then the second time I made them yellow. And I think it's probably better to go ahead and color them in, because otherwise it looks like big giant eyeballs. And then I just have YR04 for the beak. Something I've been doing a lot recently with my Copa coloring is after it has a chance to dry a little bit, I'm going back in with the lightest color and I'm blending it one more time. So you can see I'm going back over all of these with a zero blender just to make sure that there are no lines of that W1 and I really do think it makes a difference. I am gonna add a little bit of color. I'm gonna add some rosy cheeks to each one. So I'm gonna take my RV00 and just add two just round circles on all three of these bunnies. And then I'll take my colorless blender and I'm just gonna make a bigger circle. So I'm gonna include the entire pink area and then go beyond a little bit. And that'll get my pink to sort of loosen up and spread out a little bit so it looks gradual. All right, I do not have the dies as usual, so I went ahead and cut those out by hand. I'm gonna do my sentiment next. I'm gonna stamp it with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink directly onto the green piece. And now I'm just positioning all of my elements. I cut those uh, clouds with some Nina cardstock. And then I'm gonna put some ATG on the back of these clouds. And I made the right one a little bit lower, the left one a little higher, and they're both hanging off the edge. For all of my bunnies, I used dimensionals. This, these are by Stampin' Up! and they're these circles that you can cut. 
Um, they're really handy and I like to use them for small things. So I'm gonna use those on all the bunnies as well as the bird. This set also comes with a little cluster of hearts. So I'm gonna take some real red ink, ink up my hearts and put them right next to the bird. So the bird is sort of talking about the bunnies. Now I'm going to ground my birdie here with a W3. So Copic markers actually lighten up quite a bit on colored cardstock, so I used an extra dark color. That's why I used the W3 instead of the W1. And then finally, two of these characters have glasses, which I absolutely love, so I covered both of them with some glossy accents. And that is the card for today. You know, I don't use pastels very often, but I was really happy with this card. It just looks so adorable. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.